Let's work an example problem where we calculate the pH of a weak base solution. So we want to know what is the pH of a 1.75 molar solution of hydrazine in water. And Kb for hydrazine is 3 times 10 to the negative 6th. To solve this problem, we'll want to use a rice table. In the rice table, we have the reaction in the first row, then the initial concentration, the change in concentration, and then the equilibrium concentration. So our reaction will be hydrazine plus water produces hydrazinium and hydroxide. To fill in the initial concentration row, we'll start with 1.75 molar hydrazine and we'll try to calculate how much hydrazinium and hydroxide we have at equilibrium. So we start with 0 molar for both of these. Since we don't have any product yet, we'll convert x molar hydrazine into x molar hydrazinium and x molar hydroxide. So for our equilibrium concentrations, for hydrazine it will be 1.75 minus x and hydrazinium and hydroxide will each be x. Our next step is to write the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction and we can plug in our values from the table. So the expression is Kb equals the hydrazinium ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration divided by the concentration of hydrazine. So that will be at equilibrium x times x divided by 1.75 minus x and that will equal 3 times 10 to the negative 6th which is the Kb value for hydrazine. And now we need to solve for x. There are a number of ways that we can solve for x. We could use the quadratic formula. We could also make a simplifying assumption that will make the algebra easier to solve for x. Let's think about our equilibrium. Since the Kb value is 3 times 10 to the negative 6th, there will be a relatively small amount of product compared to reactant at equilibrium. So we can make an assumption that the change in concentration of hydrazine will be relatively small compared to the concentration of hydrazine. So our 1.75 minus x could be approximated to be 1.75. So we'll try to solve for x making the assumption that 1.75 minus x is approximately equal to 1.75. So looking at our equilibrium constant expression, it becomes x squared divided by 1.75 equals 3 times 10 to the negative 6th. The next step is to multiply both sides by 1.75. So x squared equals 5 to 5 times 10 to the negative 6th. To solve for x, we can take the square root of both sides and we'll find that x equals 2.29 times 10 to the negative third. Next we have to check that our assumption is valid. So we assume that 1.75 minus x is approximately equal to 1.75. So to calculate our percent error we can take our exact value which is 1.75 minus x, subtract our approximate value which is 1.75, divided by our exact value. If we take the absolute value of that times 100, we have our percent error. So that will just end up being the absolute value of x divided by 1.75 minus x times 100 percent. That ends up being 0 0.131 percent. So our assumption is valid because it meets the 5 percent rule. So now that we've calculated x, we know the hydroxide concentration. So to calculate pOH, we can take the negative log of the hydroxide concentration, which is 2.64. We can calculate pH from our pOH value. At 25 degrees Celsius, it will be 14 minus the pOH, which is 14 minus 2.64, or 11.4. So our pH of our 1.75 hydrazine solution in water is 11.4.